It's Wednesday, October 27th here in Seoul. Hey everyone, it's Debbie from Korea Now with the headlines for today. Former South Korean President No Tae died this Tuesday due to health issues. He was 88. No was South Korea's last general term president who played a key role in the 1979 military coup that made his army colleague Chun doo hwan president. He later succeeded Chun as president in a direct vote at the start of South Korea's democracy in the late 80s. He served as president from 1988 to 1993. Then in 1996, No and Chun were both convicted of corruption and mutiny for their role in the 1979 coup, as well as the brutal crackdown on the 1980 pro-democracy uprising in Gwangju. No was sentenced to 17 years in prison, but he was pardoned in 1997. The United States is taking a rather cautious stance on South Korea's proposal to declare a formal end to the Korean War. At a press briefing on Tuesday, U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan was asked whether Washington supports the declaration and thinks of it as a catalyst to resume talks with Pyongyang. In response, he says Seoul and Washington may have somewhat different perspectives on the sequence, timing, or conditions for different steps, while stressing that the two allies are fundamentally aligned on the need to engage with the North. Meanwhile, the two Koreas have restored their communication lines earlier this month in what is seen as a symbolic move for reconciliation. However, South Korea's top security advisor Seo Hoon said it's still hard to predict whether another inter-Korean summit can take place due to many uncertainties. Hyundai Motor did extremely well in the third quarter of this year with a massive turnaround in net profit. Hyundai swung from a net loss of 188 billion won in the third quarter of last year to a net profit of over 1.4 trillion won in the same period this year. The company's operating profit also went from negative to positive this year. This was mainly due to improved demand for Hyundai's high-end Genesis brand and EV models. And to reflect the ongoing supply chain issues, Hyundai has revised down its sales target to 4 million vehicles for this year from its initial goal of 4.16 million units. And those are your top stories. For full-length articles, you can go to our official website, link down below. As always, make sure to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.